Sale drop. Meg faced backlash as blaming Queen in Variety interview. Her death troubled me and Harry. Meghan Markle is speaking out about the royal family for the first time since Queen Elizabeth II's death in September. Her Majesty died on September 8th at what is understood to have been among her favourite residences. Prince Harry and Meghan were already in the country at the time, though the Duke of Sussex travelled to Balmoral alone on the day of his grandmother's passing. The royal couple were together in attending the Queen's funeral, the state event becoming the most watched in history. The Queen's death unexpectedly reunited the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with Prince Harry's family, with whom they have had a strange relationship with since their step back as senior members of the royal family in 2020. And now Prince Harry's wife is using Queen's funeral to rise her fame in an exclusive cover story with Variety, published Wednesday. She talked about her time in the UK. Meghan Markle has hinted at possible tensions with members of the royal family, saying the death of Harry's grandmother had been complicated. In a new interview with Variety, Markle discusses her mourning period following the death of Queen Elizabeth, saying she's grateful for the love and support, and that she was able to be with her husband, Prince Harry, at the time. What's so beautiful is to look at the legacy that his grandmother was able to leave on so many fronts, the 41-year-old Duchess said. Certainly in terms of female leadership, she is the most shining example of what that looks like. Though it's been a complicated time mourning the loss of Her Royal Highness, Markle and Prince Harry, 38, are trying to have a positive outlook, remembering that the Queen is now with her husband, Prince Philip. But in the hint, she also blamed that the Queen's death had been troublesome for Harry, who reportedly found out about the passing of his grandmother that just five minutes before the rest of the world. Harry had looked heartbroken as he arrived at Balmoral, and then he was refused to have dinner with King Charles and Prince William, and also took a back seat at the funeral, where he was not allowed to salute irrespective of his military service. When asked how the Queen's death has impacted Michael's family in particular, Meghan says that the energised and excited mood came following one of the big moments in her life, that of Queen Elizabeth II's death. In big moments in life, you get a lot of perspective, she replied. It makes you wonder what you want to focus your energy on. Right now, we feel energised and excited about all of the things we've been building towards. We're also focused on our foundation. So much of the work we do includes philanthropic space. In her interview with Variety, Meghan also reflected on her time knowing the Queen, saying she feels deep gratitude to have been able to spend time with her and to get to know her. I've reflected on that first official engagement that I had with her. How special that felt, she told Variety. I feel fortunate, and I continue to be proud to have had a nice warmth with the matriarch of the family. Responding to Meghan's recent interview, a royal fan said, She expressed her gratitude, but also did not forget to complain and implicitly blame. Surely she wouldn't be able to speak ill of the Queen during the interview, so she targets to the other royal members. She is cunning enough to know that using nice words about the Queen will benefit her. Hypocrisy to become more famous. Stop it, Meghan. I think after this interview, Meghan will certainly receive more criticism.